So we're in Blankenburg, which is the nearest town to Zeebrugge, mm -hmm. and we're going into Bruges, our first port day. Yep. And how was it? This is the first time oh, we stopped at a port. Very easy. Yeah. Incredibly I easy. I was concerned. I thought it would be queues of people, mm. hassle. Mark is like a cold spring in the morning anyway. I He's am, like, I, I am. want to go out, I want to go out. Yeah. I'm like, calm down. But it was very calm, wasn't it? It was just showing your card when you get off. There was no queue to get off the ship. And there were a fleet of um, shuttle buses to yeah. take us to the station here. And, and that was free of charge. Well, next to the buttocks there, you can see the church. The shuttle bus dropped us off at the church. And the train to Bruce is just, that's the station there. That's in the Cure Hotel. Oh yeah, next to the hotel there, <laughs> <laughs> in that building. Anyway, let's go to Bruges. Yes. Very chocolatey, very good actually, but um, very sweet. We get oversized mug. It doesn't need extra sugar, it's like that. Now, yes. another chocolate shop. Yes. We haven't walked more than 50 yards since the last one. I know. We actually went next door. Yes, we went next door. And went next door again. Yeah, and went past the road. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm not going to show too much of Bruges boat because this video is really about the cruise rather than the trips we go on. But I can tell you now, it's busy. It is busy. Look at the queue over there. Look at this. But anyway, in the Brugger, it was easy to get from the ship to Bruges. And the train trip. Well, on Blankenburg was only about 12 minutes. Yeah, really quick. Yeah. Really quick. I was saying how busy it is, Mel. Mel's just yes. joined me. She's been in a gift shop looking for fridge magnets. <laughs> What's the price of the expensive, I bet? 250. No, not 250, too bad. okay. Not bad, really. Anyway, we'll see you back on the ship.
So that was Belgium and Bruges. So we're just leaving Zeebrugge, bound for Guernsey. And it's about, what time was it? Quarter to six in the afternoon. Mel said, don't film her, because she's having an afternoon kip. So I promise I won't. <laughs> Where are we going tonight then, Mel? Indian. Yeah, I've got Indian. Sunday night, that means Indian. So we're going to That's Sindhu. Not film. It's not fair. Not fair in who? What? The watching public? <laughs> So how was dinner last night to Sindhu? It was good. Yeah. I enjoyed it. Then we went to some dodgy cabaret type thing. Mm. Dodgy in the sort of holiday park type of way. <laughs> that was fun. And we're in Guernsey this morning. Yes. Take a look. By the way, this morning we didn't mm. go to the buffet for breakfast. We went to... The Medina restaurant. Yeah. And it was shambolic. <laughs> it was a little bit. It was a bit all over the place. Yes. But <laughs> I had the smallest slice of toast ever. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I know. And uh, they didn't understand when I said, could I have a bacon sandwich? So, um, and the toast came after everything else. Mm. And it was cold. It, it was cold and, and everybody didn't have anything. The lady next to us wanted gluten-free bread. Mm. And that came at the end of anyway. the breakfast. And I don't know. Anyway, we're not moaning, we're just saying. That's where it was. And we're going mm. ashore. Yes. On a tender. Ooh. And one's coming in now. Take a look at this. Well, we're still on board. It's taken ages to get everybody off the ship on the tenders. We've been waiting 45 minutes. And they're only up to number 400. And we're... So I think another half an hour. How are you, Mel? Okay, I'm going to travel the tablet. I'm going to take one if you want a tender. Want a tender? Very interesting, very interesting indeed. <laughs> the glamour of cruising. Well, we made it. We did. And the time is, we're in Guernsey now. It's five to 12. Okay. And we went down to get a ticket for the tender yeah. at 10 o'clock. So it oh, took us wow. nearly two hours from getting the ticket to actually being on shore. Hello. How are you? And there's Mel yeah. with Victor Hugo. Hello. Having a word about ladies. What did Victor Hugo do? Well, he wrote. Les Miserables, didn't he? <laughs> Not the musical, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we're 
we're in Guernsey and there's some sort of hill climb race event going on. Yeah. I don't know if you can hear the cars in the background. Oh, it sounds nice. Yeah, Matty. So what have we learnt then, Mel, on our first tender experience? Um, we're on the way back now because yeah. I've been to Guernsey before and uh, we're going to make the most of the ship. If you're on a tender, do an organised trip, mm -hmm. you get priority. Yes. Or hang around for a, couple of and, hours. And for a couple of hours and go for half past 11. Yeah. Other than that, you just waste your time, don't you? Yeah. Anyway, back on board. <laughs> Well, going back, we've got a bigger boat, haven't we? Yeah. It's not a tender. No. It's a sort of a local cruise boat. Hmm. And it's like a TARDIS. There's so many people coming <laughs> yeah. there. I'm sure I heard them saying there's 800 people still ashore. What, they haven't come off? No, they're still ashore at the moment. Oh, OK. I heard the walkie-talkies going. And hopefully it'll be more comfortable than coming over. Mm. Well, we were set to go back to the ship, but unfortunately, the captain has taken a diversion to get his lunch. So we're moored up in the harbour still. We've done about 400 yards. Mel said she was going for an exercise class, but I found her in the coffee shop. And when you order coffee, you get a free slice of cake. So I've come and joined her. Victoria sponge and bakewell tart. tart. So it's our last night, Mel. It is. I wish it was longer. Mm -hmm. the trip. Unfortunately, we're packing, mm. but our case is out tonight and then disembark tomorrow yes so what do you think what do you think what do i think what do you think i think at first i was a bit apprehensive i got into it as the cruise went on and i did enjoy it the staff either really good either excellent or, or really miserable <laughs> in the main dining rooms yeah they're a bit grumpy and the yeah and the breakfast we had in the it was shambolic. It was quite was shambolic this shambolic. morning. However, yeah. I've loved it from the beginning. Like the Indian last night was really good. Yes, it was. And the staff and, excellent. And the staff excellent. But, and and uh, generally, all the staff around are, are very good. It's just the ones in the main dining room can yeah. be a bit... Uh, overall value for money. Oh, excellent. I definitely One thing excellent. I could point out, when we were meant to disembark tomorrow, they assume a lot of prior knowledge. Mm. There was no information... It was really complicated to find out what to do yeah. while you're disembarking. Like, like people have done it, you know, they've been on hundreds of cruises, but... I mean, we had a leaflet in our room to say... We had to get our own uh, way out. Yeah, to say um, about us disembarking ourselves rather yeah. than they taking the suitcases. I'm thinking, well, we wanted them to take the suitcases. Yeah, and so it went down and I said, oh, by default, it was for you to disembark yourself. And I go, but where would I know that, you know? Yeah, yeah. So I think... They need to make it clear, and the PO website itself, like Mel was on the PO group and she asked a few questions and got the arrogant responses from the, the so and so is on there. I won't say what I normally <laughs> say. But the majority uh, of people. And they'll Google it, look it up on the, online, yeah. and you do. 
<laughs> and it's not there. That's why Mel was asking. Yeah, yeah. I mean, um, a lot of people are really incredibly helpful in the in the, the different PO groups. I mean, they're not. Um, it's not staff and PO. It's basically other people who've been on yeah. PO cruises, and a lot of them are really good, and we've they've been really really helpful. But yeah. there are a few people that were quite rude in them. Yeah, you can so tell. <laughs> you can usually tell by the name. <laughs> anyway, I won't say what anyway. name they <laughs> tend to have, but you can tell. Yes. Well, hello, Marcus from the future here. A little update. As you can see, I'm back in sunny South Wales. It may sound like we were moaning in the last part of that video, but we weren't. We really enjoyed our trip on the Aurora. So much so, Mel's gone and booked another cruise. Yes, we're going away again, but this time on the P&O Britannia, and we're going to the Norwegian fjords for seven days at the end of June. So make sure you subscribe and we'll see you in that one. Anyway, back to the video. Overall value for money. Oh, excellent. Yeah. And I, I've loved the activities and stuff as well, I think, you know. And we've been lucky with the weather yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, I definitely want to do another cruise. So next you'll see us docking in Southampton mm -hmm. and disembarking. So we're back in Southampton. So that's it from us. Yes. I hope you enjoyed our first cruise. We did. Will we be going on another one? Yes. I think we will. <laughs> Bye. Bye.